If you can't tell by the grin on my face, I'm enjoying my job today. I love getting to see all kinds of different fun new stuff. It has been such a fun ride joining Bish's RV and today we are being joined by our very first Intech. This is the Intech Flyer Pursue. Pursue is actually the name of the floor plan which kind of reminds me of like the old Fleetwood pop-ups. They had a name like Niagara. That was the floor plan. It's not like the X27 JR5 or whatever. Anyway, um, what is this thing? Obviously, it's, it's I think what we're going to basically call a bed in a box, but they went about it a little bit different. Like, you see a lot of things look like those, uh, say, like, GeoPro E-Pro 12 SRKs or the, you know, the J Feathers or the new Embers or something like that, and there's nothing wrong with that. And this is certainly in a similar category, but they went about it differently, and I kind of like what I'm seeing here. So... Um, what's cool about this is uh, if you fully option one of these, it might weigh at most about 1,500 pounds dry. If you get more of a base model, it could weigh under 1,200 pounds. So you can tow these with uh, some other vehicles that normally just couldn't tow. I'm wondering, ooh, um, are there any um, motorcycle trike riders out there who can comment on the towability of this with something like a trike and a big engine package? Ooh, that would be really, really interesting because those are folks who normally don't have many options. Uh, as far as, it, it, the one thing that Intech hasn't done a good job of on their website is explaining the exact materials used in their composition. As far as I can tell though, there's not a splinter of wood in the structure of this. Um, this one that we're looking at here is actually custom ordered by one of our customers. So it's fully optioned out. And I wanna actually preface this video by saying, normally I tell you, check the link in the video description for pricing and availability. These are so hard to come by. I don't have many on my website for you to be able to reference. So unfortunately today, I do need to uh, ask you to contact a member of our team to get current pricing at any given point. Uh, but neither here nor there. If you'd like to learn about them in the meantime, if you're just curious, let's take a look at this thing. It is fun, it is different, it is not for everybody. It does not have a bathroom, unless you decide to bring a little porta potty with you. And then, I suppose there's nothing that says you couldn't make it work. Check this out. And real quick, just to give you a frame of reference, here's how big this thing is. I'm about 6'3 standing next to it. It's got the bigger tire package on it. Obviously, uh, again, the one we're looking at today is like all of the options. They just went down the list and went, yes, give me uh, one of everything. Um, but, you know, where uh, our, our tallest point up here easily fits inside a garage door. I don't think it's going to be taller than a common pickup or maybe even most SUVs. So seeing around it, seeing over it should not be intimidating. It should be an easy tow and it's light enough. If you want to hand park it in your garage, like you live in an HOA or something like that, this is, this is going to be one that you could manhandle or lady handle or, you know what I mean. Do I have to go through this hot pocket handle? <laughs> so this is a completely unconventional camper and I'm going to break my normal order of operations here. I'm actually going to make two sweeps around the outside and then we're going to hop inside. And I don't got to worry about road mode because that's basically what we're looking at. Now, one of the first things I want to look at here is you have your choice between five different exterior paints and that's another thing I think is very cool about this is that this is an all aluminum exterior it's a seamless loop well there, there's not like a horizontal seam going down the sidewall obviously where the roof meets the, the the sidewall or something like that yes there's a seam there but um, it's an aluminum exterior it's an all aluminum uh, cage construction and like I said weirdly this is my first Intex so I'm still bulking up on my knowledge of them but their website is very not helpful when it comes to talking about exactly how these are built as far as I can see though I don't see where there's a splinter of wood in the construction of these um, the uh, <laughs> this is where we're going to end up at the very end back on the inside over here but something I'm noticing look at the tail lights so you've got the dual side tail lights there. You've also got one above, like directly below that um, uh, air conditioner right there. Now, this RV, again, was custom ordered for one of our customers. We haven't gone through it. We haven't done the cleaning in detail. So I was given the opportunity where I got to climb all the way through this thing today. So it's not like I'm dirtying up and messing up somebody's camper before they take it home. It's no different than looking through any RV that's just sitting out on the lot. But um, I tell you what. 
if I was going to have one of these built for me, I think I would build it exactly like these folks have here. Understand though, this is probably the heaviest, like this is probably closer to 1500 pounds how we're looking at it today versus the base model that's a little bit closer to 1200 pounds. But, um, and that's gonna eat into your cargo carrying capacity a little bit, keep that in mind. But I do think this is how I would personally want one of these outfitted. Now again, these are short, uh, you can kind of see over them. They are tall enough that you might ha not see over them well, especially if you have some cargo up on that roof rack, but they're narrow. Um, so I, don't, I, I still always recommend towing extension mirrors, but you're gonna be able to see around the body of this thing well. And it's going to, even though it's a single axle, it's actually going to tow very nicely because notice how the wheels are completely outside the body of the RV. That, it, that would be like if you if you squatted down and took a wide stance so somebody didn't knock you over. It will give you awesome stability going down the road. Now in that front door right there is an optional pull-out camp kitchen. Instead of a camp kitchen coming off the back of the RV, it comes out to you at your campsite and tucks away when you don't want it. But what blew me away was how buttery smooth this was. It was built so well, it just glides. Kung Fu moves. Nerd alert! Like Captain Falcon from the Super Smash Brothers franchise. Show me your moves. Anyway, um, so, uh, this is optional. Slide out camp kitchen. Again, to me, I would definitely want this right here. It's so buttery smooth how it opens out. And I kind of wanted to go through this new kids on the block style for you. We're going to do it step by step. Ooh, baby. <laughs> so step one new kids on the block style is you're going to take that little metallic shelf there it mounts over top of the dometic 12 volt like fridge freezer programmable little box thing and it attaches to the front of the camper now the only hiccup with that is it kind of prevents you from opening that front cargo box i think most of the time when you're at your destination you're not going to need to get in there but it's just one of those little things to kind of uh keep in mind now you notice how that uh cooler job is actually strapped down and that's because it doesn't have to just sit there. If you want to move it around, you can. But keep in mind, this is um, powered by, it's electric only, either 110 or 12 volt. Uh, you're, you're going to want to come up with maybe some alternative, um, you know, power cord, extension cord kind of method if you do want to take it off of that little platform. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe you want to do that. Maybe you don't. I don't know that I'd ever worry about taking it off there. Just letting you know. Um, little aircraft latch, little mini storage compartment out here. You see there's a little gas grill quick connect right there because that will give us, you know, the, the gas that we need to fire up the little cooktop outdoors. So it is a, um, the, it, the one thing that I will say, you know, we're, we're calling it a camp kitchen. You, you might notice this RV doesn't really have water systems. So, um, I don't know, maybe it's just a camp cooker situation. Whatever you want to call it though, I, I think it's pretty cool. And then, just like you brought it out, it just, I mean, two fingers, guys. There's no big muscle action going on here. Now, one thing you want to be careful of, you don't want to just start smashing it right now. There's actually a lock down there that'll keep it from sliding open and closed because it does glide so easily. If it jiggles down the road a little bit, they want to make sure that it doesn't break, you know? So wrapping around the front side here, little cargo box on the front. This is going to be where you could have things like uh, batteries, propane, maybe some uh, wheel chock stored. Oops, one of the things that's nice about it is you can padlock it. You can see it's there's not a whole lot of outside storage on this RV, so they had to make one thing kind of multifunctional. And I don't want to step all over someone's new thing, but I do believe you could probably like climb on that. You could step on that if you needed to, to get up there. And speaking of which, you see in front of those uh, upgraded off-road tires, uh, because that's not the standard tire that we're looking at here, uh, it's, you can either get the tires alone or they're part of the adventure package, which includes several other things that we're going to show you later here. Um, but uh, there, there's a step well, is what I was saying. There's a, there's a step so you can get up to that cargo rack. A little battery compartment. Um, your uh, RV up here, you see you've got your simple side mount, like portable solar prep plug, handy battery disconnect in there. Um, that way, you know, when she's in storage, you're not just draining the batteries. I mentioned adventure package. That is actually a combination of four standalone options that includes things like the, the, the off-road tires, the roof rack, and uh, the 11,000 BTU uh, roof mount air conditioner with heat strip. 
So uh, normally, this RV will always have a 12 volt max air vent fan inside. You can also add that air conditioner and heater combo effectively if you want. Now heat strips, maybe not necessarily always as effective as heat bumps, but look, this is a tiny box. Uh, I don't think it's going to make a hill of beans worth of difference here. Um, a lot of these box drops or square drops or, or gum drops, whatever we want to call them, I don't care. They only have a side entry door and this certainly does and you could deadbolt that. But what's interesting about this is that, and this totally opens up the opportunities on this. It has just these wide open rear doors right here. And one of the cool things that that can allow for is they make an optional like tent add a room onto this thing. So if you're going to be doing family camping in a small space, or if you wanna just in a way use it like a three seasons room to keep the bugs out, you can do that here. It's an optional thing though. What's also nice is because uh, you know we do have limited cargo space, you don't necessarily always want some types of dirty cargo to necessarily be inside the RV or your vehicle. Well, it comes with its own handy little 200, uh, well, uh, 175 pound, by the way, um, receiver hitch right back there. Now, uh, again, this is something that's kind of made to last. So on the floor here, this is not carpet. This is that woven like marine type stuff so you can slide stuff across. It tends to hold up very, very nicely. Um, as you're seeing over here, it comes with a pair of bed mattresses. You could, you know, stack them off to the side. You could replace them with an air bed or something else. You could do whatever you wanted here. You could put like, I don't know, little beanbag moon chairs or something like that in here. Let me try to shield that glare best I can. It's a little bit tricky, the angle that I'm at right now. Breeze across windows back here. Up top again, looking at that optional uh, roof air. It's 11,000 BTU with heat strip when you add that, but you will always enjoy the benefit of that max air fan. And I am really kind of curious how much, like how is a big guy like me gonna fit in here? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day of my neighbor. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? I'm actually very impressed. So I slid the mattress all the way up here. There's there's probably a good 18 to 20 inches still at the base of this mattress down here. So if you want to put a longer sleeping thing in here, you could. But at my height at about 6'3 with the factory supplied stuff, oh yeah, no, I, I can totally fit on this. Now here's the big, is this gonna be a headbanger? All right, core muscles engage. Yeah. Ooh, no, it is not a headbanger. That's a pleasant surprise. And there's enough room in here where there is room for two. You know what I mean? Again, you could put um, like a little corner. I don't know why I keep thinking like bean bag chair or something like that, but if you're gonna be stuck inside all day, you, you, you could stuff something into the corner, into here, into here. You can makeshift this into a little living space. Again, you, you if you really need to, you could have a porta potty. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I mean, if you really need to, you got the accessory hitch on the back. This camper is pretty much perfect for the old bumper dumper. I'm telling you, this little thing is fun. Now, both the rear doors as well as the side door deadbolt, by the way. Oh, um, you have uh, two optional awning choices on this. I do believe they both require the roof rack, though, uh, to mount to. But you have a... Uh, actually, hold on. Let me do another one of these Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds uh, edits here. So, on the left, you can see that you have a straight awning option. On the right, you have a 270 degree... Is that what people call a bat wing option? Um, I, that, that's one of those things because I'm a little bit newer to the square drop, rectangle drop, bread box drop market or whatever here. I don't always know all the terms necessarily. But um, I want to get you up here also to kind of showcase the fact that you do have, because it's kind of dark on dark in here, you actually do have like a headboard, oop, come on light, there we go, like storage pocket up here. There we go, that's much, much better. Um, and just to give you a better look at everything, as long as we're all up close here, household USB outlets, 12 volt plugs, that's your uh, converter panel, stereo speakers, and Bluetooth stereo to kick out the tunes. So tell me what you think of this little goblin thing over here. Um, I always kind of heard these called box drops around Southern Michigan. I guess all of a sudden here, everyone's like, they're called square drops. Okay, whatever. It's, <clears throat> it's a rectangle drop. It's a brick drop. I don't care. 
you get the idea. It's a bed in a box camper with the cool optional outside kitchen. You know, you it's fun and adventure. You know, how do you want to use this thing? You know, what options would you want? Would you want the roof rack? Would you want the air with the heat strip or would you just want the ventilation fan? Um, <laughs> what would you put in it? I'm so curious to know what people think about these things because it's, it's almost like a mini toy hauler, but it's not. It, it's so crazy, this thing. I cannot wait to get my hands on more of these Intex. I am, the, the quality, the craftsmanship, the fit and finish of what I've seen, um, absolutely not an industry standard product. And I, I am excited as the year rolls on to get my hands on some more of these as we go. So let me know what you think, leave me some comments, and if you appreciate how we go through this stuff, hit that subscribe button and like our video. Don't cost you nothing and it sure does help. Until next time though, take care, stay safe, have fun, and best wishes from Bishes, everyone. Bye.